Okay, again, um, so, so here's a video that I completely forgot to do on Friday evening because I just forgot. Okay, here we go. Number one, one one thousand eight hundred seventy eight and one thousand one hundred eighty seven is divided by seventy four. Was the remainder? So the answer was uh, for this one, and I have I can do this. Was three? Okay, there's a remainder of three. All right, two. Marco must pay a total of one thousand two hundred sixty for home repairs. If he divides the cost into two, eight twenty eight equal payments, what will each payment be? So. Simply, if you divided 1,260 divided by 28, you would have gotten an answer of 45. Okay, so let me scroll down. And I'll get, get rid of those things. Use a rainbow or t chart, whichever one you were really comfortable with. So I'll do one and one. I'll do t chart for this one and rainbow, although you could have done whatever uh, you prefer. So 1 and 64. Let me just extend this. 2 and 32, 3 is a no, 4 is a 16, let's see, 4 times 6, 24, yes, 5 is a no, 6 is a no, 7 is a no, 8 is a yes, 8 and 8, 9, no, 10, and we're done. Noticing that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 factors, that makes it a composite. More than 2 factors makes it composite. 81, let's do rainbow. Okay, just 2. Vary it a little bit. 1 and 81. No 2s. Definitely a 3 somewhere. Uh, 3 and uh, 27. No 4s. No 5s. No 6s. No 7. There's a 9 there. Okay. So again, this one has more than 2 factors, which makes it a composite. Okay. Um, let me scroll down. Okay, here, the division one. Let me just erase all this. So I will actually do the division. Okay, so. Uh, Right here, see if it's, so it's 12, so uh, 5,348 5, divided by 12. So here we go. Divide 12 does not go into 5, but it goes here four times. So, so far, so good. He did it correctly. 13 minus 8 is 5. So, so far, so good. Correct. Uh, he brought down the 4. Correct again. And then 12 going to 54, four times again. Not the three times that he wrote down. Okay, he could have gone one more. So that's one mistake he did. So 12 times 44 uh, is 48 again. And <clears throat> borrow, that becomes a 4. 4, 8, 6. Brings down the 8. And notice that because he didn't go f uh, four times here, he went one less. <coughs> His remainder was much bigger, not much bigger, but just bigger than 12 here. Okay, so um, when he brought down the 8, he got a big number here, 188. And what he actually did was that he, st he said to himself, 12 goes, can go into 188 15 times. And that's how he got the 15 over here. Okay, but instead, the correct way, um, 12 goes in 68 five times, giving you a 60. And remain the eight. So if you did the correct word side by side, you would have uh, seen mistakes that I did. Okay, so you were supposed to write one, two, three sentences. What went wrong? Okay, what he should have done, and the correct answer. Okay, had he done this correctly using the standard algorithm. Okay, um, yeah, that's about it. Let me lower. Go to the next page. 144 is composite. A lot of factors there. It's no for a MERP and it's a yes for perfect square because we have a 12 times 12. 59, uh, <clears throat> 59 is a prime. Is the name of MERP. If I switch it around, it becomes 95. 95 ends in a 5, which means there's 5 is a factor. So it's no again. No for perfect square, no to exact numbers multiply, give you 59. Um, 79 is definitely a prime again. Is it an emerge? If I change it, it becomes a 97. And that's prime, so yes. Perfect square? No. No two numbers again. I like the multiply, I give you that. Okay. Uh, let's lower this a little bit more. Put an X. Let's see or a check, whatever you chose. So it is divisible by two. 
because it's even, divisible by 3 because 7 plus 8 plus 0 ends in 15 and that's divisible by 3. Is divisible by 4, look at the last two, 8 is definitely divisible by 4, check, divisible by 5, yes, because it ends in 0. Is it divisible by 6, yes, because it worked for 2 and 3. Divisible by 7, double the last number which is 0, 0 doubles just 0, and 78 is not a multiple of 7, so that's a no, leave it blank. 8, look at the last three numbers, and in this case, I don't know, so I will take a few seconds here and do it by 8 just to make sure. 7 goes into eight, uh, 78 9 times, which is 72. 6, bring the 0 down. 8 goes into 60 7 times. There will be a remainder, so 8 is a no. 9, <clears throat> 7 plus 8 plus 0 is 15 again. And... Um, that's not a multiple of 9, so no. 10 is a yes, because it ends in 0. 11, we do that little trick that we did. Uh, 7, 8, and 0. So for 11, you add these two, which is 7, and you subtract it from this one. So 8 minus 7 is 1, which is not a multiple of 11, so that's a no too. 12, we look at 3 and 4. Did it really work for 3 and 4? Yes, it did. So check. Okay. Um, let's go 3, 1, 1, 3. By 2, no, not even. By 3. It is if you add the digits here, it equals to let's see four, four plus four is eight, which is not a multi uh, multiple of three. Doesn't work. Four. Look at the last two numbers. Doesn't work. Five, not zero or five for six. It didn't work for two or three, so don't worry about it. Seven. I'll do seven. So three one one three. If I double the last number, which is three, becomes a six. Subtract it from this. Uh, 11 minus 6 is 5, and you get 305. Is 305 a multiple of 7? It is uh, not. 8, definitely a no, because look at the last three digits, and 3 is definitely um, nothing multiplied by 8 ends in 3, so that's a no. 9, add them all up again. 4 plus 4 is 8, and 8, 9 cannot go into 8, no. 10 is a no, doesn't end in 0. 11, let me just clear the side here. Okay, uh, clear this side, and 3, 1, 1, 3, you add the first with the third, and 3 plus 1 is 4, you add the second with the fourth, and 3 plus 1 is 4 again, subtract those two, you get 0, so it's definitely multiple 11, 12, no, it didn't work for 3 or 4, so that's it, that was a little bit tricky, uh, list the first 10 prime numbers, 2, 3, 4 is a no, 5 is a yes, 6 no, 7 yes, 8 no, 9 no, 10 no, 11, 12 no, 13 yes, 14 no, 15 no, 16 no, 17 yes, 18 no, 19 yes, 20 no, 21 no, 22 no, 23 is a yes, 24 is a no, 20, no I'm sorry, 24 is a no, 25 is a no, 26 is a no, 27 is a no, 28 and 29. Those are your first 10 prime numbers, okay? Um, and you had one more question at the bottom. Clear annotations. Go back, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. 320. I asked you to do a factor tree here, okay? So two numbers that multiply give you 320. You could have started with any two, as long as it gave you 320. I'll start with 1032. 10 can be broken up into 2 and 5. These two are prime, so I can circle that indicating that I no longer break those two. 32, uh, let's just pick, um, let's see, 4 and 8, that works. 4 can be broken into 2 and 2. Um, 8 can be broken into, let's see, 2 and 4. 2 is prime, so we stop. 4 keeps breaking into 2 and 2 again. And it's prime, so I circle it. So all my end of my branches are prime numbers indicating that I am now finished. So, how many twos? There's one, two, three, four, five, six twos. So, two times two times two times two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and times a five. So, that's what 320 is equal to uh, as a product of prime factor. So, and another way of writing this would be two to the sixth power times five. Okay? The last set of questions, let me clear again, bring this, go down, let's go down, go down, go down, nope, down, okay, here we go, um, 
Six cubed. Six cubed meant six to the third power. Expanded. Six times six times six, and that equals uh, b b 216. Okay. This one, expanded form, has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's two to the seventh power, or we write it like this two to the seventh. You write two to the seventh. Okay, seventh power. And to the seventh power is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Okay. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Good. And 400. 400. Now, huh. 400 should be, let's see. Well, my hint should be the 4 here, right? Something that ends in 4. So in this case, 2 times 2, but 2 times 2 won't work because that doesn't have too many zeros. Right, so how do I, what can I add to the both twos on top so I get a 400, so what about 20? So 400 is the same thing as 20 to the second power, or you can write 20 squared, or if you wrote 20 to the second power, that's completely fine too, 20 squared. Expanded is 20 times 20, and that's it. Okay, so your bonus was, um, you get the bonus points if you did watch the video. Um, and it sh this all should be graded hopefully by tonight. Okay, that's it. And that's it. Move this stop recording.